So once again, you're back again with your boy. It is Tuesday. That means we survived Monday. Uh, some of you guys start your work week on Monday. Start mine on Sunday night. I work third shift. So we, we trying to make it to Friday. Well, I work six days. So trying to make it to Saturday. All right. I get off Saturday morning. Anyway, I want to ask you guys a question because uh, I'm a little different. I do things a little different. I feel like there's certain things I shouldn't have to say when it comes to certain situations. So all right, I'm gonna give you the backstory in a second, but the question is, should you have to tell a motherfucker that they have to pay you back if they borrow money from you? And they say, can I borrow? They don't say, hey, can I have? Because how many people you know will say, hey, bro, can I have $100 from you? They usually put borrow, cut this heat, man. They usually put borrow in that sentence, right? Hey, bro, let me borrow a hot 20. Let me borrow $10, $5, $50. $50. So, if you already put the borrow in the sentence, do I have to remind you that you borrowed this money? Or should it just be known? You get what I'm saying? Like, do I have to press you for my money? All right, so I had this individual, right? Hit me, it started a couple months ago. When I say a couple, I'm not saying two. A lot of people say couple means two. I mean more than a couple, a few months ago. Matter of fact, a few months ago. Anyway, so start off, he said he was in a jam. He just got out of jail. Uh, apparently, police took everything. You know what I'm saying? He's hitting back. Cool. Haven't talked to the guy in, I want to say, a year, year or two. He hit me up on social media, hit me on Instagram. I gave him my number. It was like, good to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? Let's catch up. And after he gave me the rundown, he wanted to borrow a little cash. So I threw him a little dust. And then it started becoming every day. And I was like, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, bro. I got bills too. Like, shit. I'm not rich. I just make broke look good, all right? I, I don't got no motherfucking money, all right? That's how you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That's how you keep money in your pocket. Keep telling yourself you ain't got no money. Even if you got money in the bank, you got $500 in your pocket. You broke. You broke. Say it with me. I'm broke. Once you get the hang of that, you can keep some motherfucking money in your pocket. Anyway, back to the story. So it started like trying to be every day. And I was like, bro, I ain't got it. I ain't got it, bro. Like, damn. And some of the reasons he needed the money didn't make sense to me. One of them was to get back and forth to work, which is reasonable. But he said he was catching an Uber and he said it was costing like 20 some dollars, 30 some dollars. And that's one way. So third dollars there, third dollars back, five days a week. That's your whole check. I would quit that job most likely. I'm not, I will find a job closer to my location where I'm staying at and do it like that. Don't that make sense to you? Anyway, so you had that. And then it was like, he needed to go to the hospital. Sent me a video of him all fucked up, cut, something, something, something happened. He got cut. Sent him some money for that. And then it was just like, he didn't have anything to eat. Sent him money for that. And I just kept sending him money. And then I like try to cut him off without telling him I was cutting him off. Just try to like, you know, kind of norm a little bit. So he go ask somebody else for some motherfucking money. Because I'm too nice. Everybody say I'm too nice. Uh, so anyway. And then it start, he wasn't using the same cash app. He was using his friend's cash app. One or two other guys. Because I sent them cash app money on maybe three different accounts. And it was a couple of times he used somebody else's phone. That's what got me. Because I told you I was trying to avoid him. Called from somebody else's phone. I missed a call because I was asleep. I worked third shift. So when I got up, I called the number. I was like, hey, I got a missed call from this number. And whoever answered the phone, he kind of got smart. Who is this? I'm like, who is this? Motherfucker, you called my phone. I hear him in the background. Oh, no, nah, bro, that's for me. What's up, bro? And he proceeds to ask me for a little dust. And I cool, I sent it to him. But I was thinking, I was like, who's the motherfucker you riding with? Who's the nigga's car you using right now? That nigga ain't got no money either. Why are you hanging out with broke people, man? Why all these people cash app cards you using in phones, they ain't got no motherfucking money unless you run a game. Cause ain't no way you like that I know people that's broke who don't even ask me for money like that. You get what I'm saying? Like some shit ain't fucking adding up. And why are you hanging with broke people? If my homie came and was like, bro, I need to use your phone. And use your cash out. I'm going to ask my other homie to borrow some money. I would have said, how much? 
nah, bro, don't worry about it. Because I don't like people using my phone and have random niggas calling my motherfucking phone back looking for that nigga. So, no, how much, nigga? What, $10? Cool. Fuck it. I got you. Don't worry about it. If you still want to ask that nigga, ask him and add more money to your pocket. But, no, I'm not going to let my nigga sit beside me broke and not do shit. You get what I'm saying? So, it's weird. So, the last time I talked to him, he was like, can he borrow five? And he was going to pay me back when he get paid. Um, Friday hit. Didn't hear anything from him. Next week hit. Didn't hear anything from him. I'm not going to press a nigga. I'm not about to hit this nigga up. Hey, where's my money? And it's more than five that he owed me. He just said he would give me back that five. All the other shit he said, can I borrow? But he said the statement, I will pay you back Friday when I get paid. Never heard from him. So fast forward three weeks. And I don't know. I, I guess I talked to him up. I was at work. I was like, you know what? I didn't hear from your boy, man. Hopefully he's doing all right. Bam. Next day he texts me, he was like, he needs some money, he hitting bad. I'm like, and I just annoyed him, like, bro, I ain't fucking got it, man. Keep telling motherfuckers, the third and fourth week of the month is my most expensive fucking weeks. Car insurance, car payment, rent, light bill, water bill, Wi-Fi bill, storage bill. The fuck I look like letting a nigga borrow some money, and I got all these bills to fucking pay. You get what I'm saying? So I annoyed him. Then he tried to hit me with the, hey, my birthday's tomorrow. I mean, well, my birthday's in two days. Like, I supposed to send him some birthday money. And I'm like, nigga, for years, I didn't get no happy birthday, no birthday money from you. So what makes you so fucking special? That I supposed to annoy that you ain't paid me none of my motherfucking money back and just send you more money because it's your birthday? And I say this dude, like, blew my phone up the last couple of days. My girl was looking like it was a bitch calling me. Like, who the fuck he calling your phone? Like, and I'm like, damn, bro. Like, is it, like come on, bro. Come on, bruh. Like, your social media, you're popping, popping. Like, you got the fresh outfits, the, you know what I'm saying? The fresh J's, nigga, rolling the cushions. The cushions? I don't get it, man. But back to the question. Do do you think I'm supposed to go press this nigga for the money that he owes me? Or should, motherfucker? Because I don't borrow shit from nobody. That's number one. But if I did, I'm not even going to wait to Friday to pay your ass back. I'm going to make sure I get that shit back to you the same day the next day. You know what I'm saying? I make some moves where I get your money back to you the same motherfucking day. So you ain't, before you can fix your lips, guess who will ask me to borrow some money? I'm right there knocking on your window. Mm, 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 mm. There you go, player. Mm, mm, mm. Don't do me like that, nigga. Mm. That's why I don't borrow shit from no motherfucking body. That's number one. And even when motherfuckers borrow shit from me, I don't go around, hey, Steve just borrowed $200 from me. Yeah, he's broke. I don't do all that. Hard times. You got to do what the fuck you got to do. All I'm saying is this motherfucker fucked it up for itself because I done let this nigga borrow over a hundred. If you total up all the motherfucking times I sent the motherfucking money, it's over a hundred dollars. And when my girl see this, she's going to be highly upset. But it's over a hundred fucking dollars. I'm not going to give the whole total because she really going to be mad. Over a hundred fucking dollars. So do I need to go stalk this nigga? Do I need to press this nigga to blow up his phone? Like, where the fuck my money at? Or should I just let it go and be like, hey, you lost a good friend. Even though I haven't talked to you in fucking years, you popped out the motherfucking woodworks with the story, and I was like, cool, I'm, I'm empathetic, and I looked out for you. You choose to fuck me up. But you with all these other niggas who's letting you use their phone and their cash app to ask another nigga to borrow some money. I wish I was joking with y'all right now, but no. Uh, and I let a lot of people borrow money, and they always pay me back. Uh, sometimes I'm somewhat of a pawn shop. Motherfuckers done pawn shit to me. And they come back and get it back and pay me, and everything's cool. I don't think anything less of them. We still good friends. Everything's cool. Because I remember years ago, I was in a predicament where I had to borrow money and pawn some of my guns and shit like that. So it's understandable. But... I'm pretty sure he wouldn't give a fuck if he lost me as a friend or not. That's another thing, because he damn sure ain't give a fuck about paying me back money, or even trying. Or you could have lied to him and said, hey, bro, I ain't forget about you, bro, bro. I ain't forget about you. I'm gonna pay you. Nigga ain't did none of that. Nigga was just so caught up with I supposed to be sending him some money for his birthday. I never said I was. But he just overlooked all the money I already sent him, and I supposed to just stop what the fuck I'm doing. Hey, you know what? He really deserves this money. It's his birthday. Fuck my bills. <laughs> I live on the streets. I'm homeless. No, motherfucker. I have real bills, like a lot of other people. Ain't no Section 8, ain't no housing authority, ain't no food stamps, none of that. Real 
bills, ramen noodles every night budget, nigga. Fuck's wrong with you. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, Rico DJ me on all social media platforms. Holla at your boy, man. You guys try to enjoy your Tuesday. I'm going to hit you guys back, man. Thank you.